So today Robert Mugabe died and we're supposed to show respect. We're supposed to show respect by keeping quiet because it's too soon to speak. We're supposed to keep quiet because he died an old man. I'm supposed to be quiet and show some respect because I'm a pastor. And it's unbecoming for a pastor to speak of a dead person's misdeeds and the terror that he left. I'm supposed to show forgiveness by only saying he was a good man and therefore rest in peace. We're supposed to ignore that he led the plunder of entire generations, murdered people, and unjustly incarcerated us. No, I refuse to be silenced by people who think it is their moral obligation to silence those who suffered at the hands of an uncaring man. Now, I do not celebrate his death and forgiveness is something we must do, yes, but that in our own time. To exonerate him, however, and separate the dead man from the one who lived simply because he is dead and that he was old before he died is a deeper injustice to humanity. I find it sad that when he lived, we had to be silent to appease and avoid his brutal nature. And now that he is dead, we again are forced to be silent because it's too soon and it's un-African to speak and try to heal and try to be free from the dead man's clutches. So whilst we feel for his family and those who loved him, we also feel for ourselves because we have to walk a journey, a difficult journey of forgiving a man who in his long and wealthy life did not once find it important before he died to ask for our forgiveness. Though we shall forgive and heal, we need you to understand that it was never going to be easy.